Hello friend, welcome to Paint in Pieces. I'm Jay, and today I'm going to paint Luke Skywalker from Imperial Assault by uh, Fantasy Flight Games. Um, a while back I displayed my uh, picture of Luke Skywalker that comes with the core game, and it's just uh, New Hope Luke, and um, I got some really good positive feedback. And one challenge was, now do Jedi Luke. So, today I'm painting <laughs> Jedi Luke. So, from Imperial Assault. So, what we're going to do is we're going to paint. I'm using mainly uh, Pro Acryl paint from Monument Hobbies. And um, I really do like them. They're probably the best paints I've painted with since I've been painting uh, doing this channel. So, you guys, I appreciate you coming out here today and watching me. But let's get down to the palette. So like I was saying, I'm using Pro Acryl. I'm gonna start with actually tan flesh. What I did here, I mixed a little bit of the <clears throat> cold black with the warm dark gray, or the dark warm gray, excuse me, uh, to get this it's just a little bit closer to the black, but not so much that I wanted to stand out. I could have done some highlights to help make it stand out, but I think I want just the color itself of the little pants to stand out. In the movie, and in uh uh, several repro reproductions of the art and and many other art renditions of Jedi Luke. His whole uniform is black, and they use um, reflections for certain things to stand out, like the shine of his boots, you know, um, and so forth and so on. Them some probably some other tactics and techniques, but I I do want it to stand out a little bit but not so much um, that it takes away from it being close to the black. So that's why I went there. So I wanted it to be close to the black, but not black. A very dark gray is what I'm going for, and now it'll work. 
because the boots would be black. And it would just seem like it'd be seamless to have the dark boots, the dark, the black pants. I know it in the book it looks great, but I think on the on the miniature figure, you want that contrast. Now, if I'm wrong, I mean this other people have done other things with highlights, other artists that I, I really like. I mean, there's so many of these artists out there that I'm watching and seeing how they paint their minis and it's just been really encouraging uh, because the, the, what they do they don't they add a little their skill their their knowledge over the years but they don't make it seem like oh man you have to been painting for uh, 15 16 years you could come in and learn to paint and over time by painting more minis you too can improve upon what you do but you have to start somewhere and you have to start just by painting minis and I hope that's what my channel does it encourage somebody to go out and paint minis uh, on your board game I like painting minis in my board game because I'm not actually buying minis to paint because I'm buying a game that has minis which kind of makes it like I'm buying minis to paint but no I, I, I play my board games and I really love them Alright, back to Luke. get the boots this is pretty easy pick figure to paint um, but I'm not gonna be done totally until I do some maybe some highlights
I'm gonna come back with the charcoal gray. I'm sorry, the dark warm gray, and I'm gonna use that mixed in with just a little bit of black. Then I'm gonna highlight Young Luke here. Finish Luke's eyes. Now I'm just working on the eyes here, as you can see. Um, I really liked how this mini came out. Uh, eyes have always been a hard thing for me, but I always give it a try. But uh, I liked how it looked. Um, definitely. A good mini here as you can see um, my highlights stand out a little bit I did a little dark wash on the vest uh, on the tabard I should say and overall Luke is ready for action so thank you for being along with me on this ride I hope you guys enjoyed it and remember do what you like like what you do and continue painting and please if you like the video like and subscribe and see you soon